Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome back. Um, we're working on our 4x6 cinch journal, um, and I'm doing it in the style of uh, Wendy over at Wendy's Journal Adventure. Um, I'm doing it um, kind of the way she did her ring bound journal, and I did one a few months back. And basically, I just cut it down to 4x6, and but I want to use the same type of design. So we've used chipboard for the front and chipboard for the back and we have covered them with cardstock and then I've got two uh, four by six cardstock cards blanks that I've glued together and covered with paper as well so I have a divider uh, for the front well two dividers not for front and back but just two dividers to divide the sections because we're going to have three envelopes, three bags, and three journals. And I haven't put the journal, uh, any of the journal stuff together yet, but uh, today I thought we'd uh, get some of these on here. Now, I did play with the cinch a little bit, and I was able to cut this out, and it's even, and yay! Um, it said pulled peg 12, and I could not figure out how to pull the peg. Nothing would move, but when I figured out, if I pushed the handle down just ever so slightly, I could pull the pegs out. So, you know, play with it. Um, it doesn't say that anywhere on the instructions. It just says pull the peg out, and I couldn't get anything to pull out. So I was, uh, I was like, oh, my goodness, what have I done here? So, um, but I could have sworn that I moved the pegs when I first bought it, so I don't know. Anyway, playing around with it, I figured it out finally. Um, and there is a center mark on it, so I'm not going to necessarily need to make everything six inches tall, but... This will have uh, 11 holes in it, so uh, kind of cool. I really am excited about this. And then the pack that I bought of the little cinch wires, you know, we'll be able to cut that down and then use that extra little piece for something else, so that'll be fun. So I've got um, a 4 by 6 bag here, and I've got two little, uh, what did I say these were, 2 and a half by 4 bags. Okay, I'm not exactly sure where we left off. It's been a while. Um, but I think we left off with the one and a uh, one and a half inch or whatever tabs being too um, too small uh, because I don't want to punch a hole in the envelope or the sack here. So what I did was I... Um, I took this other uh, paper and um, this was printed on cardstock and I, I cut these at three inches wide and then I scored at three quarters of an inch, one and a half inch and I think it's two and a quarter but it's, uh, yeah, because it's uh, three quarters of an inch from that side. And then I've inked around the entire thing, inked on all of the folds and um, yeah, this actually ended up being on that center line, which was perfect. Couldn't have planned that. And then I inked around all these envelopes. And I'm just going to attach this. Now, um, I put this on like this so I could trim them off and see how long they were. But I'm going to attach them this way. And what that's going to do is attach the bag, but also give me a place to punch these holes. So, I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive here. I went ahead and filled up my glue bottle, so it's one less thing I have to wait for. So, like that, I'm going to put this right up to that line and not on it. Make sure it's not going over the pocket opening, so just slide it up just ever so slightly. And close that down. And that's going to give me that little hinge that I need. Like that. And I'll be able to use the entire pocket here to put something in. Okay, 
So there's the one. Let's do the next one. Same way. Did I put my the writing the right way? Not that it's the end of the world if I didn't, but I try. Did I put glue on that other piece completely? I may have to go back and check it. I want to put glue over the whole piece. And then we're gluing right up to that score line. And down. Okay, so now I've got those two, that's attached, yeah, okay, so I've got those two, now I've got this one, now this one's a little bit taller, um, but I basically want to do the same thing, and I'm wondering, uh, it's got an opening here, and I think it's, there's plenty of room in the book for this. So I think I'm going to leave it, but I am going to trim the opening on this one so that we can use that as a pocket. Oops. There we go. Just like a sixteenth of an inch or whatever works open that pocket. Okay, so this will be where we're going to attach that little hinge. So let's do I'm gonna open that up and I don't need both of them. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and trim it first. I'm going to use the whole length. and trim that. Like that. Did I make a hole? Well, it's not going to matter because that part's going to be glued down. I, think I did get a just a hair off the bottom of that bag, so I want to make sure it's not going to come open. Just a hair right there. But that's going to be glued, so I think we'll be okay. Um, however, put that ink back on there. All right, so let's um, let's check for the ink on this one. I've got this inked, but I need to ink the part where I cut. All right, and I need to get glue on this whole pocket. Piece, hinge, it's not a pocket. Looks like I went a little bit crooked there. I may have to trim that up. Okay, so which way do I want this? I think I do want it this way. And I'm just going to attach that like we did before. Right up to the score, not on it because otherwise it won't move like we want it to. And get that on there. And I did get that little piece. And, and since I can't trim any closer, I'm just going to ink that little piece just like that. And we're good to go. So, is that going to make it stick outside the book? going to be right there. Yeah, it is. So I think I'm going to trim this down to about a quarter of an inch right there. I could just trim it uh, to the edge, but I kind of like that piece um, sticking out. So I'm going to trim it there. Just, well, let's line it up here. That should be just about right, although it feels crooked. Let's do that. Yeah, and we'll ink that. 
rid of this. I need a little bit more ink. Okay, so there we go. So we've got these three, and I'll probably put this one in the middle. We'll have those. And then we want to do the envelopes the same way. So and we'll just line that up there. Trim that off. There's one. So, there again. Make sure there's if there's words, they're the right way up. And put glue on all of this. And I'm going to attach this up to that first score on the right. And fold it. There we go. So how's that going to fit? Oh goodness, this one is a little bigger than this sack even, so I might have... Actually, that looks pretty good. But I'm thinking what I might be able to do is adjust this a little bit. Um, although I don't think it's going to matter because it looks like it's right on the edge. So I think I think we're going to be okay. And my idea is to um, kind of stagger these so that there's one lined up with the top, one lined up with the bottom, and then um, one will be centered like that. So I think I think we'll be okay. So let's go ahead and do the other two. So let's see what we've got then. We've got a cover. And this is our first divider. So we're going to have a, a bag and an envelope in here. Then we'll have a journal. And then we'll have this divider. And then we'll have this bag and envelope and a journal and then the divider and then we'll have the last bag and envelope and the back cover. There'll be another journal in there as well. So let's see, it's about this thick. We're not going to be able to make that journal too thick. Um, I'm going to, I'm not sure how big um, I think that the binders I got are three quarters of an inch, so um, the journal may have to be um, narrow. In fact, I may, I may have to put one journal in here, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see. We'll play, and we'll we'll do what we can do. But um, I I am going to have to play with the. Uh, cinch to see. I don't know how much they'll hold. Does anyone know how much you can hold with a three-quarter of an inch cinch wire? Um, I'm sure it says somewhere, but I'll have to do some research. But we'll play. You know, that's what we're here for. I just want to play and 
and see what I could do because I haven't used it yet. And my husband keeps saying, did you play with your toy yet? No, I haven't because I have a whole list of other things I've got to do first. So anyway, we'll get to it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.